Alright guys, what's up? It's me, Devin, and I have a story to tell. The story to tell is I woke up at like 12 today, so I'm really not going to do an actual vlog today. But don't get like freaking out and stuff because I'm replacing the actual vlog with a room tour and then a Q&A, but it's actually it's actually the other way around, so Q&A and then room tour. So, I'm just going to ask these 50 questions, which are a lot, but, you know, I need to take up a lot of time, so. And my camera might die, so. Fair warning. Alright, so, Q&A. My number one, my name, uh, Devin. My name's Devin. Uh, height. Last time I checked, I was like 5'10". And people always argue with me on that. They're like, you're not 5'10", I'm 5'10". And they're legit like 6'2". And you're like, you're not 5'10". So, age, don't want to give that away. But, you know, somewhere in the teenage area is what I'll say. Birthday, don't want to say that. Obviously not. But, girl, best friend. Probably my friend Kylie. Um, guy, best friend. So, I, I had a best friend back in West Point, and then I moved to here, and then I got another best friend. So, I'm going to name both. I'm gonna My, my old friend from my actual hometown is Tate Nance. He, he's, like, legit. Um, but my, my friend here is Taylor. Um, but yeah, he, they're legit. They're the best. Um, crush. Probably Kylie. Um... Ever fall in love? Have I ever fallen in... If that's what you mean, like, ever fallen in love? Yes. Sadly, Andrew. Because your brain's not developed fully. And you always tell yourself, I'm gonna do it this time. I'm gonna last more than two weeks. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna be known as the kid who can keep a relationship up. And I'm actually gonna be able to do this. I'm gonna show these adult wrongs. I'm gonna show these adults wrong that... I can't keep up a relationship because I can't, so I'm, I'm gonna do it. And then within a couple week and a half or something, they always think it's too much for them, so they break it up. At last text, my last text was probably to my friend Tate, just saying sorry because he asked to hang out, but I'm all the way across city or like across city pretty much, so not exactly across city, we're like far away, so like an hour away, not that far, but I don't have proper transportation, so. Longest relationship, maybe about <laughs> uh, two months, pretty much it. I'm a teenager, don't expect very much, so yeah. Battery percentage, I don't know. Last time I checked, it was like 28, so either my phone's gonna die during this video or it's gonna run out of storage, so if it lasts through the actual thing, that's gonna be legit, but. Eye color, brown, if you guys can see my eyes. So, hair color, original hair color, brown, my hair color that I want, the black with a little bit of blue in it, and then I might re-dye it, because I've done that in the past. And I've done that in further videos, but then I deleted them because I just wanted to press sharp with it um, for the vlogs, but. Addiction, I'm addicted to licorice, not even kidding. Twizzlers licorice all the way. Favorite food, I would say, favorite kind of meat is garlic sirloin. I love garlic sirloin from this like restaurant up in the gateway in Utah called Takanos. Oh my. All right, favorite song? Favorite song. Probably something by like David Archuleta because he does fit to me about talking about relationships and stuff. So, favorite song probably Desperate by him because I did go through some tough times one time and it just kind of explains kind of what I went through. Favorite animal? Koalas. I love koalas. <laughs> They're adorable. They're hilarious. All right. Favorite subject in school? English. I was gonna say, I was like, do I have one? But English. Because when I grow up, and when I start to like look for jobs in college and stuff, I'm getting an English degree so I can publish the book I am writing right now. I'm writing a book right now that I'm going to publish when I get out of college. So when you guys, when I become famous, you guys come back and look at my videos and be like, whoa, it's cool. Favorite sport, basketball, or swimming. I like swimming a lot just because it makes you feel like you're flying. You're like going through the air and stuff, but you're going through the water. I like that, but basketball, I really love basketball. I've played basketball my whole life. I used to get up at 
five in the morning with my dad to go play basketball with him all the time. It was the funnest thing. One wish. If I had one wish, it would probably be to be back in my hometown. That was the greatest time. I want to be back in West Point so badly. Best time of your life? I don't know. The best time of my life was probably being in West Point. That shows you how good it was. Is that I was happy with my friends. I would always go home, be a hardcore gamer. Like, literally every single day, I was the happiest I could be. Listening to my amazing stereo, going downstairs, being on Skype with my friends for hours on end, and playing Minecraft with them all the time. I was a hardcore gamer, I was a nerd, um, and I would just be on Skype constantly with my friends. We would hang out all the time, we would do Minecraft themed stuff, Minecraft themed parties, um, video game parties, Steam games, oh my gosh, it was the funnest time in the world. I, if I could go back to any point in my life, it would be that. Country you live in, United States of America. Pets, I have one cat, I did have one cat named Izzy, and apparently I threw her down the stairs by her tail one day, is what my siblings say, but I would never do that to a cat now, but apparently I did that when I was like five or something like that, but, <laughs> turn-ons, oh, my phone died, yeah, so let's just get right back into it. Turn ons, no. <laughs> Turn offs. No. Well, I'll say a few. I'm not gonna really say turn offs, but like piss offs, like that piss me off. Pisses me off when guys are disrespectful to girls. It pisses me off when people judge other people. Um, unless it, unless it's in like a courtroom, of course you have to judge someone. So it's not like I'm gonna watch a judge show and be like, "You idiot!" All right, relationship status. I don't know if you guys want to know that, and if you do, uh, just comment down below and beg me for it because I'm not gonna say it right now. Uh, first kiss. Depends on what you mean by first kiss because there is someone kissing you or you kissing someone. First kiss, someone kissing me is someone that I kiss, in or someone kissed me in kindergarten. Kiss, kiss, kiss me, and kiss me, and kick me. My first ever kiss that someone kissed me was in kindergarten. The first kiss I ever kissed someone was in second grade. And I still talk to the second grade person, and I still talk to the kindergarten person. Sometimes. Ever self-harmed? Have I ever, like, that means ever self-harmed myself? Well, some t a lot of teenagers do. A lot, in any degree, self-harm doesn't exactly just mean cutting. Self-harm can mean hitting yourself with a rubber band, maybe punching yourself, or even emotionally hurting yourself, beating yourself up for something stupid you did. And of course, pretty much every teenager has somehow self-harmed themselves on a different degree. So obviously, I have, maybe not in a cutting way, but I have at least self-harmed myself in an emotional or physical way. All right, someone you love. Well, of course I love my parents, and I love my family. And I love my best friends. Someone you miss. I really miss my friends up in West Point. I see them sometimes, but I miss my friends. I miss being two houses away from them. I miss being there for them. I miss ev everyone at school, at my school, just started messaging me like the day I moved. And s I actually started develop developing friendships with them right after they moved. And I'm like, seriously, like, why did, couldn't you have gotten this friendship going while I was there so I don't have to miss you this whole time? Oh, biggest fear. My biggest fear is people leaving me because that happens a lot. So that's really my biggest fear. Something you hate. Black licorice. <laughs> I know I said I'm addicted to Twizzlers, but it has to be strawberry or cherry. Mostly strawberry. Cherry's okay. Black licorice makes me want to throw up. Right. Fandoms? Do I have any fandoms? I, I like David Archuleta a lot, but I guess you could say I'm a fandom to him. Other than that, I really love books. I really love books. I'm here in my new room. Just bought this new laptop. But you know what I like better than this laptop? Books. Favorite TV show, Big Brother or The Walking Dead? Uh, if you guys haven't seen Big Brother, it's more, it's kind of like Survivor, but indoors. So it's really that. Um, and The Walking Dead, obviously, super huge zombie show that everyone watches. And if you don't, then you're a loser. No, I'm just kidding, you're not. Uh, favorite movie, I guess you could say my favorite movie is like Zathura from when I was a kid. Book, the one I'm writing. 
I really love my book. Other than that, <laughs> other than that book, uh, I really did like the Fable Haven series. The Fable Haven, it, it really brings the magical feeling to life. I, I love that that book. <clears throat> All right, jealous of? Not really jealous of anything. I don't really know. Star, I, I'm so sick of all these people like saying their ethnicity and their star sign, all that bull crap, like crap on Facebook. That's like, all oh, people who are Aries or something love pizza, and it's like that is so like I have never really cared. Worst habit? I don't know. I don't really have a worst habit. My worst habit is being addicted to licorice. <laughs> Love licorice. Best friend ever, probably Tate. Embarrassing moment. Uh, when I was in the fourth grade, you would eat lunch and then you would go to recess. So I ate lunch and then I started to go out to recess. And I would do this as a fourth grader all the time. There was these second graders that were like jumping rope. And I would walk over to them, jump up and down and pretend I'm doing it with them. And I'm like, yay. So I went over to them and I was like, yay. And then they started squat teaming me. They tied the jump rope around my legs, scooped me off my feet and dragged me across the whole entire backyard of the school with the jump rope around my legs. And that was horrible. Like, it was fun. It felt like I was like on a slide, but my pants were destroyed. So I had to like walk around the whole day carrying my butt. First fandom, my first ever fandom that I really loved was David Archuleta because when I was in my old school, um, I was a little kid, about 10, and then my sister was cleaning through a room and she just threw a David Archuleta disc at me, and I had my stereo downstairs, so I was like, I don't know, let's try it out, I put it in, and then I started, I started loving his songs ever since, so, David Archuleta, I guess. Books or Wi-Fi? Books. I love books. I love writing stuff, I love, well, I don't know, you can still write books, but you need Wi-Fi to, I would say Wi-Fi, because even though I love books, you can still write books with Wi-Fi. And it's actually the way I do it. I type my books. I don't write them. It's, I have horrible handwriting. It hurts my wrist. <laughs> I don't like it. Indoors or outdoors? That's a hard one. Because indoors, I play all my games and stuff. But outdoors, I play the basketball. Outdoors, I do. I do swimming outdoors sometimes. I play. I just play all these sports outdoors and stuff. Um, I would say outdoors because even in the outdoors there's still stuff that looks like indoors like trees that form a room so outdoors um, unless you count that tree room at. and then there's another that says other and then it says specify specify 